Hey there world, I've got a fun technique for you to use to make something quick and epic with very little effort. Let's rename our project duplicate-flower or something like that. And then I simply want you to start with a cylinder that you turn into an ellipse. I'm going to make mine 2 millimeters thick and then here's where the magic happens. I'm going to do control D to duplicate. I'm going to grab the rotation arrow. Uh, if you zoom in and make sure you're on the arrow, you can just go to the next degrees. And then this is the important part. Move down the number it, ticks, it takes for that center to be exactly centered again. And then what's amazing is if you do control D again and again and again, you have simply made an awesome flower. The big trick, or the big part that makes it amazing, is to remember that you cannot touch anything like the mouse in between that selection. Uh, watch this attempt at making it a little more epic. I'm going to start with a ne nether cylinder, going to make it an ellipse again, going to shrink it down, but this time I'm going to use a second thing to uh, cut it out and make it look more like a petal on a real flower. So I'm stretching out my sphere so that it's a little larger than the uh, ellipse. Just grabbing the square handles and pulling it out so that it makes sure that it rounds out the entire object. I'm going to nudge it down just a hair so there's at least one millimeter of my uh, pot petal left. And then I'm going to turn it into a hole and I'm going to group those two pieces notice it says two shapes that's a good thing to double check to make sure you've got them I obviously cut that a little too low so I'm gonna do undo I'm gonna switch my grid to uh, 0.25 raise it up and then I'm gonna group it again and let's see how it looks that time Wow I still messed it up control Z which is the same as undo raise it up another two millimeters uh, or two uh, chunks which is a half a millimeter group it and now I've got one that I can work with I want to make it red so it looks more like a rose uh, now that I've got it the way I want I can even adjust the shape I'm gonna move it to a location so it doesn't bump my other one and I'm gonna do control D once again I'm gonna rotate it my 22 and a half degrees notice I'm going to the long lines instead of the short lines use the arrow key I'm gonna switch this to one millimeter so it moves in increments that I appreciate more and there I've got it where I like it and now I'm just gonna do control D again and again and again to make that flower just a little more epic so there you have it the super cool amazing flower technique the one thing that's extra cool about the second one here is it would look epic even if you 3D print it. This one would end up just being a flat shape. This one would have the awesome three-dimensional steps or part three-dimensional textures that you see right there. So have fun. See if you can find something else you can use this cool technique for.